Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Pisces. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading. It will not resonate with every Pisces and it will not resonate with every Pisces cross watcher. Please take it resonates and leave the rest. But if you have Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus placements in Pisces, or you are dealing with someone that does have those birth chart placements, um, this reading could resonate with you. Also, I am just now getting my voice back, so I am a little raspy, so bear with me. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, personal readings are open. The link to schedule a personal reading with me is in the description box. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. You can find the links to both in the description box. All right. Pisces. All right, we have the High Priestess, High Pisces energy coming out. The Nine of Cups. The Six of Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune. That is Sagittarius and Pisces energy. Nine of Swords. Strength, Leo energy. The Sun, Leo energy. And we have the Chariot, Cancer energy. Mm, something's about to change. It could be due to divine intervention or something going on in the universe, but something is about to shift or change here and things are going to maybe be able to, to progress or move forward. What is the high priestess? I see that you guys, you guys are in some type of turmoil. Maybe you guys are worried about receiving some type of communication or if something is going to move forward, but it is. I see this here. Spirit says you have wish fulfillment coming in if you remain strong, if you may, if you remain firm or strong, courageous in regards to something. Things are about to look up here. You're about to be given a gift or it's like something balanced or reciprocal is coming in here for you. Tell me more about what this is talking about. What is this coming in? All right, so we have the five of cups. What does this mean for, what does the five of cups mean for, oh, there was some type of tower that you guys have been kind of sad over and ending something kind of blew up or fell apart and there's been some sadness over that. The ace of swords, but you're about to have a breakthrough. Justice, wow, clarity's coming. Justice will be served in this situation. What does this mean for Pisces? Death, some type of change or transformation. Eight of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords. What's Seven of Swords mean? Somebody's withholding something here. What does this have to do with Pisces? Two of Swords. You guys are unable to see something because somebody, either you guys are unaware of something or you guys are unable to see something because somebody's been holding back from you. What are they withholding? What do we have? The Queen of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles. There's something coming in for you guys. This Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Somebody rushing in here too. Communication coming in. That's going to lead to a new passionate beginning. What can't they see? Tell me, is it that this is coming or what is it that they're unable to see? What is not being seen? Five of Swords. The Five of Wands. What does this have to do with Pisces? The Empress. The Three of Wands. A new beginning is manifesting. So I feel like you guys, something that you, some of you guys feel like you walked away from a situation, but you don't know that is there a, there's a new beginning manifesting in that situation that it's going to come back around. You're going to go back into this. You guys may have thought that there was no chance. But yeah, there's something here that you may have walked away from or somebody walked away from you and they're about to either come back around or you guys are going to end up going back into that situation. Yeah, there's some type of new beginning manifesting here because you, you guys had some type of fight or conflict with somebody. There was some, somebody cut somebody off. There was some tension, drama, possibly because somebody was guarded and they were breadcrumbing you. Indecisive. So what does this mean for Pisces? Judgment and Eight of Swords. Seven of Pentacles waiting for... You guys may be waiting for... It's about the Hermit. Some of you guys know that this person... For some of you, this was a third-party situation. And you guys are maybe waiting for this person to withdraw from something else. You guys maybe know that when this person heals or withdraws from something else that... There's going to be another go round of this.
What's going on here for my Pisces collective spirit? What is going on here? We have closed heart. Yes, this has been coming out for all of the signs. We're dealing with a lot of guarded, closed off people. But maybe there's about to be a shift. Because I see a lot of people are going to start opening up or something here. Um, emotionally unavailable people. Emotional burdens unavailable. Things are about to change. Tell me more about closed heart. Boundaries. I was getting this. What does boundaries mean for Pisces? Which, so it's like, you guys... Standing your ground or being strong is manifesting some type of wish fulfillment for you. What does closed heart have to do with that, though? This part, this emotionally unavailable person that you've been dealing with, they don't feel like they can. You're you're energetically connected to them. Your love haunts them. They don't feel like they can get away from the thoughts, the feelings of you, the emotions. Tell me more about it. Oh, wow. This person is being so consumed by this relationship, guys. Like they don't have any other choice but to open up to you. We have unclosed, we have closed heart, and then we have unlocking. This person's heart is being unlocked. It's because you guys are cutting this person off. You're no longer enabling them. This has been coming through for pretty much everybody. You're setting boundaries with them now. You felt like this person was maybe using you to some degree. So I feel like you guys cut this person off for you, set some type of boundaries. Now they want to come in. Here and try to mend this with you. This is maybe something that you guys were hoping that maybe you guys were trying to just teach this person a lesson. Tell me more about this. Because you were this person, you were tired of this person being unreliable. They broke your trust in some way. They were misleading you, you felt. But I still see a happy. What does this mean for Pisces? Not budging. It's like somebody really needed to get their life together, but they were too stubborn to change or they just were, yeah, they were refusing to change and clean up their life. This person made you think that you guys were going to have a happy ending together or that they made you feel, they, they tricked you, made you feel like you guys would have a happy ending together. But this person is refusing to change or they have been. So what's happening now? Memories. Pleasure and sadness. What's that do with Pisces? Chaser. What does Chaser have to do with Pisces? Lessons. You guys are learning lessons in self-love. You at some point were chasing this person. In the past, I feel like. In the past, you were... Oh, you know what else is happening here? What does this mean for this person? Oh. What about money is tight? Divine intervention and... Shocking events. What's the shocking event? Uh-oh. What's the shocking event? Unexpected surprise. Did not see what coming. Something. That they're being plunged in. What is the shocking event? New cycle. They just, this person does not feel like, it's like they can no longer resist this new beginning or this. It's like, why are they unknown? No, it, it could be because they feel so, they feel it's so hard to resist you or stay away from you. It's like this person, the divine is putting divine pressure on them. There may be, hurting their finances to some degree yeah they're giving them financial issues it's like they're they're forcing this person into a um a new cycle i told you something is happening here divine intervention you guys were chasing this person. what does memories have to do with anything but yeah you guys were chasing this person and then when it out of self out of low self-worth because this person and maybe you guys also had a fear that this person would abandon you you're learning lessons so we have abundance oh so it's like without you this person's in poverty and then they think about when you guys were together you guys were, they were a lot more abundant they were being blessed so what now now they're strategizing that's that seven of swords while you guys spend some time apart what does it have to do with this person Wow, this person's planning to um, marry you, propose to you. What does this mean for Pisces? Forever changed. A love that transforms. Tell me more. La okay, we have lasting changes. Okay, we have lasting, a breakthrough. Wow, guys. Wow. <laughs> we have pregnancy on the back of the deck. Getting pregnant, building a family, giving birth to something. We have cut through emotional, mental clarity. Secrets come to light. Breakthrough. 
lasting changes. This person's actually going to change this time. Okay. And they're going to stay that way <laughs> when they do come back. What's make, tell me more about what's making this person finally get it together. Prolonged grief, hopelessness, pessimism, feeling victimized. This person just feels very sad and depressed without you. Hopeless. Tell me more. It's this, it's that this person knows that they've run out of chances or that they're about to run out of chances that you really weren't playing with them this time. If you guys broke up with them and walked away. Yeah. And they just don't feel, they don't feel that they can escape these. They're in a very not great situation. Oh, they have so much passion for you. What's this mean for how they feel about Pisces? Fights? What does it have to do with it's what's unlocking this person's heart? What what does arguments have to do with that or fights? Wedding. And we have new love. Yeah. Oh. It's like it, I feel like this person worries that you hit all with the fights card competition they're worried that um you're sleeping with other people wow i get it now they're worried that you guys are sleeping with other people that there's competition for you they're afraid that you're gonna get married or committed to somebody else um and let them go open up to new love Spirit may be telling you that there is reconciliation coming here, but to take things slow with this person because they're maybe going to want to sleep with you. All right. Or some of you guys, you may think that this person doesn't really love you, but something is changing here. No, this person. Wow. We have here. Let's see. Love activation. So this person is awakening to this connection. They are ascending. Their heart space is opening. They're realizing that you loved and supported them. You, you, They could have a solid foundation, security, stability with you. They're going to tell you this. They're going to call you, text you with this offer of love, expression of love. Yes. Yeah, you guys have been dealing with somebody that has been dealing with some. They weren't maybe very honest with you. They're refusing to commit to you, but you guys have a soul connection here. It's only a matter of time before this comes together. If you choose to, you always have free will. Okay, so. Interesting. Let's see. Where is the deck I want to use? Where are we at time-wise? 12 minutes. Well, that took a turn for the better here. I felt I knew there was something changing. We have in a few months. Yeah. Later than you think. Right on time. December. Early in the month. Okay. Spirit says you guys have been prolonging something from that you guys have been. This has been coming through for my collective. This has been coming through for the collective. There's something that has been trying to come in for you, but you guys have been keeping it from coming in. You've been stagnating this or prolonging this somehow. Maybe by not with setting boundaries, by not by chasing this person and not knowing your worth. It's been keeping something from happening or changing or shifting here. That's why you, it was going to, but something is shifting, like I said. For some of you, in a few months, it could be talking about January. That's been coming through in a lot of my readings that I've been doing this week. That in January, I believe, and what I'm thinking is because Mars is going direct. But it may not, it just may be that January is a significant month for my collective. But something is going to happen. Finalizing and tying up loose ends here is going to maybe bring this. We have December as well. So let's get some clarity on what these things are talking about. So what's going to happen in a few months, Spirit? Stringing you along and alimony, waiting. Ooh, be careful with this person. True love. Oh, this is a tough, you guys, because this person's going to come back in a few months and they're going to tell you to give them some time or they're going to tell you something about their marriage or their divorce or something. If this is somebody I told, I think I mentioned that for some of you, this person's with somebody else or you're waiting for them to, oh, I already picked up on this. 
you waiting for somebody to get a divorce or something. I already mentioned this earlier in the reading. There is true love between you and this person. And we even have mutual feelings on the back of the deck. They want you to come to some type of compromise with them. They, they're going to ask you to wait for them or compromise with them in a few months. But I feel like Spirit is saying that if you do that with this person, it's going to prolong something. What about December? Children, what about that? Home? What's that have to do with Pisces? They're, they're going to... Oh, what's that about? What does children and home have to be do with this person? Ooh, separation. Somebody's maybe getting separated from their kids around in December. Oh, Lord. Guys, what is going on? What? Two, two, they're fighting over children? There's something about fighting over children. What does Thorny Rose have to do with that? Cut out. They're trying to cut, they're trying to go through a separation. They're fighting with somebody over children in the month of December. What does this have? How does this tie in with Pisces? Gossip. Worried that other people will talk about how somebody's maybe worried that some people will talk about them losing their kids. Tell me more. They're seeing or hearing that you're, you know, you're focusing on yourself or you're looking good. They're seeing that or they're hearing about that. Or they just know this. <laughs> they just feel like they know that that's what's going on. So what's this have to do with children and separation and all that stuff? Phone call. They're going to call you and tell you. What does this have to do with Pisces? Happiness. What does this have to do with Pisces? Clean up. What does plastic have to do with anything? Abundance. Oh. Strategizing what? Uh-oh, guys. Be careful with this person. Wow, yeah. This person's going through some type of karma. If they lose their kids, they may... I don't know. They're about to be getting some karma. But what I'm seeing here is this person's maybe going to come towards you. They're going to tell you that they're... They, they're grateful for you or something. That they're cleaning up their life. But this person's being fake to some degree because they know that you're maybe what more stable or well off than them. So they, this is like some a plan. They've con they're concocting a plan here, or they're going to be executing a plan to try to maybe get some money out of you or something. They're going to be love bombing you almost here, or telling you that they love you very much, but their intentions aren't good. Oh my gosh, what is up with this? So they, so what what is my price supposed to do with this? Secrets, yeah. Moving in silence, more to be revealed. What's up with Pisces? Risk. Memories and not budging. Somebody's not letting go of the past. Or somebody's hiding from you that they haven't let go of the past. But they want to reconcile. Because, or maybe they're not letting you go. Yeah, they could be not letting you go. Yeah, what does not budging have to do with Pisces? Yeah, you're their soulmate. They're not, this spirit is trying to say this person is not going to let you go. It's like you guys have had pleasure and sadness together. They're, they're very much stuck on you. Hmm. Tell me more about, let's see here, guidance. What's, tell me more about what's going on here. We have build a new. Yeah, they're telling you don't try to rebuild this with this person. Don't kill yourself trying to fix what is beyond repair. This is your chance to, re to build something different. We have change. Yes. Be willing to let go of what you plan to have. The life that is waiting for you. We have winter. So we have in a few months, we have December. What you desire will manifest in the winter months. Also a time of solitude, survival, and quiet reflection. We have home here again. Your home. Somebody may need. 
a place to stay or something. Your home tells your story. It's the foundation of your life. Bless your home to bring more peace, love, and light. What does this mean for this person? We have the witch. Awaken your inner witch. Put all your fierce and feminine powers to work. And we have communication. Some of you guys are using some type of witchcraft or some type of manifestation techniques here to get communication from this person or to get them to open up, express something to you. Okay. And we have passion. Yeah, you guys are putting, you guys are putting, what does this mean for this connection? Inner child and answers. You're going to, you are going to get some type of clarity or answers from this person. Clarity. That's going to lead to some type of happiness here. Inspiration. Sarah so says, if you guys are feeling called to do something, that's the divine trying to guide you to do that. What is this? It says there's a message from the heart trying to be expressed. Be mindful of what you say and use discernment. Yeah, we have soulmate here again. So this is a soulmate. True love is finding its way to you, a new spiritual romance. How do they handle this when this person does come back? We have unfolding, okay? You close a chapter in your life. However, the story is not over. Give it time to unfold. See it through the end, okay? And we have freedom. Without freedom, there is no creation. Let your spirit take flight. So somebody may need to free themselves from something so that something else can, to, can progress. The spirit says luck is on your side. Is that going to happen? In divine timing, have patience as nothing can occur until the conditions are completely ready. Trust in divine timing. We have protection. You are being protected as well. You are protected from the tongues that are not wise. Oh, you guys maybe need to worry about, um, you guys maybe have some friends around you that are not talking the best about you, okay? But your manifestation is rapidly, it says something is manifesting rapidly. I feel like it's rap. it's more, it's quick, it's speeding up because you guys, if you guys have released this person. For some of you, Reiki is really helping. If you guys are getting Reiki done or you need to get your chakras aligned, that's going to shift some things. We have, it's, you're going to realize that things have, we have heart calling and hidden blessing. Things are not always what they seem. You'll soon realize that it all worked out for your highest good. And we have heart calling. Reveal your heart's calling. You have everything you need. And now is the time to follow your heart's desire. All right. So this is what I have for you guys. I hope that this reading resonated with you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you can take something from this reading, personal readings are open. There is a link in the description box to schedule one, one with me. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok. If you're interested in collective readings, you can find the links to both in the description box. I hope you guys have a good rest of your night and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.